It is a beautiful day on the reef. The sun is shining and the coral polyps are swaying in the current. Their symbiotic algae, called Zeuxanthellae, are photosynthesizing efficiently. Out of nowhere, a dark plume covers the reef, blocking out the sun, stopping photosynthesis. Dark particles start to settle onto the coral, and the tissue immediately responds by releasing mucus, which entraps the particles, actively removing them from its surface. As more and more particles settle, the mucus is not strong enough, and the polyps start moving frantically, shaking the particles off, just as Taylor Swift has recommended. Just shake it off. Shake it off. As time passes, the particle deposition exceeds the clearance rate and the coral becomes completely smothered. The coral is now in darkness and increasingly anoxic conditions. Its tentacles are unable to capture prey. The coral is now in a predicament. It can no longer gain energy through photosynthesis or from feeding, but it is spending an immense amount of energy on cleaning itself off. The survival of this coral will ultimately depend on the exposure duration the amount of particles deposited, and its ability to actively remove them. I've just described a coal spill onto a coral reef from a coral's perspective. Australia and Indonesia are the world's leading exporters of coal by sea, and thousands of ships are carrying coal through complex coral reef ecosystems each year. Although rare, ship groundings do play, take place, such as the Shen Ning One, which grounded on the Southern Great Barrier Reef in 2010 while carrying 68,000 tons of coal, which is equivalent in weight to 10,000 adult elephants. There is currently limited information on the potential impacts of a major coal spill. My research examines the effects of coal contamination on tropical marine organisms. I conduct controlled laboratory experiments to investigate the stress that coal exposure causes to coral species commonly found on the Great Barrier Reef. The stressful situation that I just described is what I've observed in my experiments. Coal contamination reduces light necessary to conduct photosynthesis and can cause physiological stress, which can lead to mortality in corals. <coughs> My results suggest that a major coal spill could have detrimental impacts on sessile corals which are unable to swim away. A human's perspective is to ship as much coal as possible, but I can tell you that a coral disagrees. Thank you. <laughs>